All right. This is the Emax Multirotor 4-in-1 EC for my quadcopter. Um, I've never used this one before. Been using the Qbrain one. So let's see what we got. Instructions: Chinese. Probably very minimal. Uh, but we'll check it out. But here is the ESC. It's a 25 amp, four by ESC, all in one. Makes it really nice. So, um, looks like you got some. One of the ESCs is a power, and then your other three. So, and then it looks like I'm gonna have to wire up uh, connectors. That's normal. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put an XT60 or a Deans, but uh, we'll see where we go. Go with the power module. But anyways, that's what's in the box. Uh, looks like the cables are not connected. So we are going to have to connect them up ourselves. Um, not very long cables. But uh, I think for my purposes, I think it's going to be okay. Um, I have a smaller quadcopter. Um, but if you have a big quadcopter, you might have to get some extensions, which I have, but I shouldn't need these. So um, looks like there's uh, screws for each connection for each one of the motors. So I think I will go ahead and screw those in and as you can see you've got the M1, M2, M3, M4. So those will be your motor configuration so you'll have to hook up compared to uh, wherever you mount it up at um, and then plug these in accordingly. So pretty simple. Um, uh, not too bad really. Um, just have to get the ABC. Doesn't really matter um, which way you hook it up. You just got to make sure that the motor spins right. So um, B is your only one. That's usually like a negative. And then the outer two are for direction. So um, I will get these uh, screwed in and then uh, we'll come back and do the install and configuration.